today I want to talk to you about International Denim Day. I'm going to be reading the history and part of the story straight from the Denim Day website, and you can learn more at denimdayinfo.org. Before I get started, I do want to share a disclaimer and a trigger warning that I'm going to be sharing a story of sexual violence that may be difficult for some to hear. So the story of Denim Day begins in Italy in 1992, when an 18-year-old girl was raped by her 45-year-old driving instructor when he was taking her to her very first driving lesson. He took her to an isolated road, pulled her out of the car, removed her jeans, and forcefully raped her. She reports the rape, and the perpetrator is arrested and prosecuted. He is then convicted of rape and sentenced to jail. But years later, he appealed the conviction, claiming that they had consensual sex. The Italian Supreme Court overturned the conviction, and the perpetrator was released. A statement from the court argued that because the victim was wearing very tight jeans, she had to help him remove them, and by removing the jeans, it was not rape, but consensual sex. This became known throughout Italy as the jeans alibi. Enraged by the verdict, the women in the Italian parliament launched a protest wearing jeans on the steps of the Supreme Court. This protest was picked up by international media and an organization called Peace Over Violence started the first ever Denim Day event in LA in April of 1999, as continued annually since. We have seen this spread throughout the world where people in April, typically on the last Wednesday of the month, are sharing pictures of themselves wearing jeans or denim in protest of harmful attitudes and victim blaming. If you would like to participate, you can share a picture of yourself wearing denim and share with us why you choose to wear denim. We hope you learned something about Denim Day today and hope that you participate and share your messages of support for survivors.